have Friends of Scotch and Peak Wilderness. Um, representing them and speaking is Lincoln County Outreach Coordinator Henry Jordan. Hello everyone, good evening. Um, yeah, I just want to thank the Chamber again. This is a really great event. It's a great opportunity to get out and speak, and it's been great to hear all the other speakers as well. So I want to uh, talk a little bit about why I'm here, uh, what the Friends are all about, and the three things that we do here in Lincoln County. All right. So I grew up in Shota, Montana, and like a lot of young folks, I that grew up in uh, rural communities, I wanted to get out, I wanted to see the world, and so of course I went to school 200 miles away down in Helena. And uh, you know, after that I worked as a trail on the trail crews, I uh, worked as a guide, I was an outdoor educator, and through those experiences I um, started to gain an appreciation for the rural communities of Montana and, and what they really have to offer in terms of lifestyle, in terms of access to the outdoors. And it's something that really motivates me and the work that I do. And something that I love um, to share with everyone, but particularly with younger folks. And um, that's why I'm here tonight. So let's talk about the Friends a bit. We're a small nonprofit. It's just myself here in Lincoln County. Uh, we've got Ray and Sandy down in Sanders County. And then we've got Britta and Phil over in Sandpoint. And we're in the three counties surrounding the Scotchman Peaks proposed wilderness area. Um, it's a small area. It's only 88,000 acres. But it's rugged territory. It's prime wildlife habitat. It's incredible recreation opportunities. And um, our mission as an organization is to continue to manage that area as wilderness for future generations through wilderness designation, ongoing stewardship, outreach, and education. So those last three things that I want to talk about tonight. The first is stewardship. We run a volunteer trail crew throughout the spring, the summer, and the fall months. We use traditional tools like crosscuts, Pulaski's, and pigmatics to clear trails, build tread, and put in reroutes. It's a great way to keep the trails open, keep them accessible. Our last crew outing is this next weekend. We've got a veterans trail crew going up to Goat Mountain, but if you're interested, you can sign up for it next year on our website. Um, second thing is outreach. You may have seen our booths at events around the area talking to folks about the Scotchmans. We'll be at Trunk or Treat this Halloween, the Card Clinic Rally, and a few other events upcoming. Come by and talk to us. It gets a little boring sitting in those booths all day, so we'd love to come see you. Um, we also sponsor the Harvest Festival here in September. Uh, we partner with the Community Garden, with the Gracious Table, and it's a great way to meet folks, get in the community, and make some new friends, hopefully. The third thing we do is education. We have our Winter Tracks program coming up in this January and February. We partner with the local schools, bring fifth graders through middle schoolers outside in the snow to learn about tracking, orienteering, and wildlife biology from our great group of volunteers. We have outdoor educators, teachers, biologists that all come out to help with these events. We also have guided hikes that are open to anyone. We are getting ready to plan our winter hikes, so if you've got any interest in leading one of those to one of your favorite places in the Scotchman's, we'd love to have you sign up, um, or you can just come along and be a participant. Um, so you notice that the running theme here is volunteers. We could not do this work without all the volunteers that we have. And so I just want to give a shout out to everyone that has uh, come out and supported our organization over the years. It's been great for me coming into this role this summer to have such a great framework already in place. Um, so if you're interested in becoming a volunteer or you just want to learn about us a little more, you can go to our website, friendsofscotchmanpeaks.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Um, thank you for your time. If you've got any questions, let me know. All right. Thank you. I will be around if you'd like to talk to me afterwards as well. <laughs> 